The grand award winner this year is the Harborside Plaza 7 in Jersey City, New Jersey. This 70-story, 700-foot tall tower is located in Jersey City and contains 822,000 square feet of space. The tower is designed for residential units adjoining a new nine-story podium, including a parking garage, ground floor retail space, amenity space, and a rooftop terrace with swimming pool. This is all part of a concrete frame structure containing 50,000 cubic yards of concrete. The strengths were up to 12,000 PSI and were used in the columns and lower shear walls to provide the required lateral stiffness and to minimize structural sizes. The slabs were 5,000 PSI and up to 8,500 PSI. The tower superstructure consists of cast-in-place concrete flat plates supported by concrete columns and shear walls. The face of the building moves in and out throughout the height of the building. These changes in floor plans were created by cantilevering the slab out off the exterior columns. The lateral system utilized concrete walls at the core, up to two feet thick, outrigger walls, and a shear band at the top of the building. The columns and shear wall mix designs contain 50% slag. The podium structure is also cast in place flat plate with drop panels at the longer spans. Spans of up to 40 feet were provided in certain areas of the podium to provide column free space for the main amenity spaces. The foundation caps and mats which were up to 10 feet thick at the core are supported on three to six foot diameter concrete caissons. The tower could only be built this way using cast and plate concrete as a, as a solution. Um, the flexibility it provides to achieve the, the goals of the architect and the developer uh, really wouldn't be possible with other systems like structural steel. Uh, it minimizes the structural height using eight inch slabs, um, maximizes the ceiling heights, and this probably would have been at least a 50 to 75 foot taller tower with any other type of system, um, which would have added time, cost, and schedule to the entire project. Um, also, uh, to AJD's credit and, and Industrial Urban, they were able to um, execute the project with two day to two and a half day cycles on all the tower floors, which could not be matched uh, in any stretch of the imagination with another type of system. We took a 700 foot tall tower and designed it like a 40 story uh, tower uh, and, and that could only have been possible with cast and place concrete. We designed the tower using this what we call concrete super core meaning that the concrete shear walls are located on the outside perimeter of the corridor walls rather than uh, strictly inside uh, the core of the building adjacent to the elevator and stair shafts. This allowed us to create a larger concrete tube provided the stability and limited the motion control of the tower to within acceptable limits and again avoided the use of any uh, additional special dampening systems. The tower uh, to remain efficient used up to 12,000 psi concrete. To Eastern uh, Concrete's, uh, the concrete supplier's credit, uh, we were able to maintain consistent breaks uh, achieving the 12,000 psi. Uh, routinely they broke between uh, 13 and 15,000 psi and as high as 18,000 psi. And I think in the world today where we're building these tall structures, uh, this type of consistency with high strength concrete is really allowing us to build higher than we ever have and, and really make it economical uh, for this type of structure. You know, overall, this has been a tremendous project to be a part of. The team led by Iron State and Matt Cowley Development, uh, as well as the architectural design team with Concrete uh, from New Amsterdam and HLW New York, uh, and the uh, expertise of HAD Construction and their sub-consultants has made this a real team effort. Urbi is a new housing brand. It's, it, it's a new housing concept uh, for the rental market. So we as Concrete started to work on this concept um, together with Iron State about six years ago. And the first two buildings at this moment, of which Urbi Harborside is one, will be delivered uh, this year. The idea behind Urbi is that the, compact, the, the apartments are very compact and therefore more affordable, but the way we lay them out and the, and the amount of daylight that we introduce into the design, the apartments feel actually very spacious. Early 2012, when Macaulay and Iron State had teamed up on the Harborside project, they approached us to design the Harborside project as an urban residential scheme and asked us if we could team up together with HLW as the executive architect and Simone uh, being the uh, structural engineer. And 
for us looking at the project where phase one and two combined contains over 2300 apartments uh, we felt there was there was a multiple challenge for us uh, we wanted to create more diversity in unit types because there are so many apartments in the scheme we wanted to make an interesting architectural building instead of adding three more boring towers to the not so uh, interesting uh, surroundings and, and and we had to make a very simple and affordable as these are rental apartments and not one million dollar condos so we first started to design a very efficient core in the tower and place 12 apartments around the core with all bathrooms and the rises and the MEP stacked very efficiently above one another and then I asked HLW and D. Simone how much can I can deliver can I project the concrete floor slab out without making it very costly and they told us that we could make a, a projection of seven to eight feet so, so that's actually what we started to play with. Cantilevering floors on all four sides of the building, creating this tower that, that looks like stack blocks. That, that almost looks like as if, if you would ask a kid to make a tower out of, of playing blocks. And um, I guess this is exactly what we tried to uh, achieve here. We wanted to create a playful, fun and fresh looking building, expressing in the architecture exactly what Urbi as a new fresh housing brand uh, stands for. Another good thing was that due to the 7 foot projections we could create more variety in the apartments. So a studio apartment could become a one bedroom at, at the projected floors and a one bedroom could become a two bedroom etc. So we created multiple different apartment types and we created diversity and uh, something to choose from uh, for our tenants. I guess we tried to explore the possibilities of concrete in a very simple and affordable way. And what we achieved here and with this material is a very interesting and playful building that at the same time adds functionality and diversity for our tenants. We were able to maintain a two-day concrete cycle utilizing the crane and the concrete buckets. At the same time we maintained the cocoon all the way up the building. Uh, maybe we slowed down a day or two with the transition floors where it's cantilevered out. And as you can see, there's some extensive formwork involved with that. Uh, but ultimately, we maintained a two-day cycle throughout the project and completed a couple months ahead of schedule. Well, the Eastern Concrete is very proud to work with a great team, including D. Simone Engineers, AJD Developers, Lindy Griffith, and of course, Industrial Urban. Job started at the Caissons in summer of 2014. Uh, caissons were three to six foot diameter, 60 to 70 feet deep. Uh, the superstructure started with the mat slab, 10 foot thick, uh, one monolithic pour of approximately 1,800 yards of concrete. Uh, Industrial Urban was able to complete a two day cycle, meaning they pour a floor every two days. Um, the superstructure was completed in approximately 12 months. Concrete was the material of choice. The parking garage contained a corrosion inhibitor and the superstructure contained high strength concrete. The columns and shear walls had concrete ranging from 5,000 to 12,000 PSI. Uh, the slabs contained concrete, uh, various strengths going from 5,000 to 8,500 PSI. Uh, Eastern Concrete and U.S. Concrete are very proud to accept this award on behalf of the New Jersey ACI and the Concrete Aggregate Association. Thank you.